Hello, everybody. We are the Rock of Fire Explosion. You know, we always have a lot of music and fun, but you know something we have almost never had before? Well, oh, let's see. We've never had a meaningful dialogue about world politics. Now, now, that's true, but I meant we've almost never had a guest star before. Oh, yeah. And today we've got two guest stars, and they're waiting right over yonder. Who can it be knocking at my door? Make no sound. Tiptoe across the floor. We don't want them to knock all day. We'll open up. And ask them in to stay There's no harm in a little suspense We'll open up soon Now don't you all get tense Our guests are your childhood friends Here they come To see you again Who can it be now? 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 Who Behind the curtain, we've got two stars, both waiting patiently. And if you're wondering who these people are, you'll have to wait and see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's blowing that saxophone? Where are you? I noticed some of the kids you're trying to see through the curtain. Oh, <laughs> I thought so. Well, they're curious. Yeah. Come on, Fats. Let me tell everyone who our guest stars are. No, no, no. Hold on there, Mitzi. Let's do this thing like we rehearsed it. Oh, okay. uh, Duke. What? Uh, give us a drum roll. Uh, okay. <clears throat> drum roll by Duke LaRue. Uh, Fats, where do you want me to roll it? <laughs> well, now, maybe on second thought, let's just introduce our guest stars with a song. Okay. Yogi Bear is smarter than the average bear. Yogi Bear is always in the ranger's hair. At a picnic table, you will find him there. Scouting down more goodies than the average bear. He will sneak to room, but before it starts, I'll have every picnic basket that's in Jellystone Park. Yogi has it better than a millionaire. That's because he's smarter than me. Than the average bear. Yeah, really? hey, nice oh. to have you here, Yogi. Hey, what a great showbiz type introduction. As advertised, I am Yogi Bear at your service. Yay. And this is my little buddy, Boo Boo. My little buddy, Boo-boo! <laughs> uh, uh, Yogi, I hate to be the one to tell you, but uh, that, that's more like a trash can you got there. She, I know he's in there. I can hear him breathing. Hey, Boob, come on out of there. We got a show to do. But, Yogi, it looks scary out there. Oh, Scary? Boo-boo, these are our friends. Boys and girls, moms and dads. What's there to be scared of? Well, for one thing, I thought I saw a 500-pound gorilla out there. He's right, you know. Oh, it's okay, Boo-boo. I'm on your side. And it's like I always say, when you got a 500-pound gorilla on your side, you got nothing to worry about. You don't always say that, Yogi. I do now, Boob. But seriously, folks, we're like, uh, delighted to be here at Showbiz. The lights, the music, and all this delicious food. <laughs> this is gonna be terrific. 
Our thoughts exactly. Oh, yeah. And it's so exciting for us to be working with real live superstars. Sounds like a song cue to me. Open the curtains, okay? That's more like it. Uh, Yogi, what are we doing out here? We weren't supposed to come back until the band started playing again. Oh, I couldn't help myself, Boo Boo. I was just sitting there minding my own business, and and it suddenly came to me. What came to you, Yogi? The smell of pizza. Yummy, glorious, taste-tempting pizza. The kind you find in Italian picnic baskets, see? <laughs> Yogi, you know you're not supposed to beg the boys and girls for food. Begging? So who's begging? I was merely going to offer our friends the opportunity of sharing their meal with a big superstar type bear. <laughs> hey, what do you say, kids? Who wants to be first? Hold it, hold it, oh, hold it, everybody. Yogi, you should be ashamed of yourself. Asking for pizza like that. Really? Yeah, come on. Wait, who said that? Who am I? I must have blocked out there for a minute. Psst, they're not buying it, Yogi. Quiet, Boo Boo. I'm on a roll. Sometimes I get so hungry that uh, I just lose control. What do you mean, Yogi? Well, Boo Boo, it's like this. So, uh, you got this need to know what I'm all about? Because there's something that you dig. You can't figure it out. Now you want to know what moves my soul? And what ticks inside of my brain? Well, I got this need I just can't control. And it's driving me insane. Oh, I can't take it. Shame. Because I'm hungry. hungry for the good things, Boo Boo. Hungry. hungry through and through. Hungry. I'm hungry for the sweet life, Boo Boo. And a picnic basket or two. 
Uh, I can almost taste it, Boo Boo. Gosh, Yogi, you're making me hungry. There's a world of things to eat that I want to taste someday. Goody snacks and treats. I can taste along the way. Yeah, I'm going to have it all someday. Picnic baskets in both of my hands. If I break some rules along the way, hey, you got to understand. It's my way of getting what I want now, because I'm hungry. He's hungry. Hungry for the good things, boo-boo. Hungry. Hungry through and through. Hungry. I'm hungry for the sweet life, boo-boo. And a picnic basket or two. Oh, I can almost taste it now. I ain't gonna waste it now. I'm gonna live each minute, eat until I'm dazed. Oh, I'll be rolling in it. Yes, I will. Yep. Because I'm... Hungry for the good things, boo-boo. Hungry through and through. I'm hungry for the sweet life, boo-boo. And a picnic basket or two. Cause I'm hungry for the sweet things, boo-boo. Hungry through and through. Hungry for the sweet life, boo-boo. And a picnic basket or two. You see, Boo-Boo, when you're hungry, you just can't help yourself. I'm a victim of circumstance. But, Yogi, just because you're hungry doesn't mean you have to eat pizza and goodies from picnic baskets. And what, pray tell, should I be eating? Bear food. You know, natural things like nuts and twigs and berries. Nuts, twigs, and berries? Sheesh! Who do I look like, John Denver? It's pizza I want, and it's pizza I'll get. I don't know, Yogi. Mr. Ranger wouldn't like it. Mr. Ranger isn't here, so my choice is clear. Pizza, here I come. Excuse me, Yogi. This Mr. Ranger you keep talking about, would he happen to be a medium-sized, dark-haired gentleman? Yeah. With a park ranger's hat? Yeah, yeah. And a park ranger's uniform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that must be the Mr. Ranger who was just here. No, no, no. Mr. Ranger, sir, here? That's right. He said he'd be dropping in real often to keep an eye on you. Why, he could be out there right now. Sheesh! And he told us to play this song just for you. I don't like the sound of this boo. Every single day, every word you say, every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you. Watching me? She. Mr. Ranger can't do this. I'm a government protected bear. But Yogi, Mr. Ranger works for the government. <laughs> You're right. He can do it. But a 
fish, not bear. Playing on a bear. Mr. Ranger, sir, can I have just one little piece of pizza with everything? Are you out there, Mr. Ranger, sir? Nuts, twigs, and berries. Sheesh. Song, Mitzi. I like you too. Not so fast. I still say she was singing about me and singing very nicely at that. Yeah, she makes it look easy to be a big time professional entertainer. I wish I could do that. What are you talking about, Boob? We've been entertaining people in Jellystone Park for years. After all, what's more entertaining than a good looking bear begging for food? <laughs> no, Yogi. I mean, as long as we're on stage here, I'd like to be able to sing and dance, you know. No problem. Remember that soft shoe number we did for the Jellystone Follies last year? What do you say, everybody? Want to see a little fancy footwork? Yeah, All come right. on, Boo Boo. Let's right. see a boogie. See yeah, it. come on. You heard him, Boo Boo. Let's do it. <laughs> Shuffle out the buffalo, Boo Boo. <laughs> Hey! Well, well, that's something you don't see every day. In fact, I didn't see it today either. Kind of gives new meaning to the term canned ham. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. What did you call that? A soft shoe? That's right. Even though Boo Boo has bare feet. You, you mean he isn't wearing any shoe? No. Yogi means I have bare feet. You know, little furry toes, claws. Oh, oh, I get it. Bare feet, right. Well, uh, tell me, guys, did you ever think of making your act a little more, uh, modern? Yeah, like, you know, uh, bringing it into the 20th century. And what do you mean by that? Yeah, I think what they mean is you need to learn how to rock and roll, guys. To get loose. To get loose. 
Whoa. to get electric. Rock and roll, huh? So what do we have to do? Hey, dude. What? Tell his boys what they need to know. Okay. <clears throat> How to be a rock and roll star by Duke LaRue. We can make it in the world of rock and roll. Gee, you think you think we can? We're a couple of naturals. I'll get a guitar. I'll get a kazoo. And people will flock to hear us rock. We'll ride in limousines. Ooh. Eat at the finest restaurants. Like this one. We'll be super duper bear type stars. As big as Chuck Berry. We'll be as famous as Barry Manilow. Yeah. Hey. But you paid for your riches and fame. Was it all a strange game? You're a little insane. Hey, I can rock and roll better than the average bear. Yeah.